Good day to you and welcome back to Jade Empire. Alright, Fred of Asgarnia here, your host as always. And we are back. Again. Except it's been so long, it's been about two weeks since I recorded last, so I only vaguely remember where I stand. Although at the moment I'm sitting. Like to turn back now. We have to finish this before it gets worse. Before it gets worse. Ah, yeah, before it gets worse. So, as I remember, we were trying. We were in. Ah, I remember where we were now. We were in a cave trying to destroy a group of cannibals. That's always good. Cannibal scum. Big room, this. Oh, a chest. I like chests. Oh! Whoa! God damn it. Yeah, traps. They're everywhere. Traps. Ha! It'll take more than a trap to kill me, says I. Oh, what's up here? Is there anything up here? Can I go up here? No, I can't. It looked like a ramp. No, hobbits are... Okay, a dead... Oh, Jesus. This place is truly creepy. Get a quick save. Because, frankly, I have a feeling I'm going to be ripped from limb to... From limb... From limb... I'm going to be torn limb from limb. That is what I mean. Okay, so let's see what the mother looks like. Yeah, that's it. You spearhead the attack. Huh? Ew! Ew! Oh my... Oh, ooh! Jesus! <laughs> Just the way his eyes went. Quick, use Echo Thumb. Nice job, laddie. Sounds good to me. I have to make the ceiling fall on him, correct? Crap. Spirit thief. Oh dear. Okay. Long sword. Oh, oh god, that's disgusting. Wow. Okay, he killed me. In a matter of seconds. It's too late to turn back now. We All right, shut up, Henpecked. Oh, there's a way of skipping this, otherwise we're going to be here for... Ah, oh, no, I have to sit all through this again. I mean, which is pretty badass. I have to... Stupid microphone. Or stupid me. Whoa. Get away from me, you beast! Couldn't you just use Eki Thump? I'll stop the little guys to make one sure. Oh, how gallant of you! Okay, so I think it's clear what I have to do. I have to bring the, um... I have to bring the pillars down on top of it. Which is what I should do. Spirit thief. Okay, quick save. Quick save. Quick save. Quick save. It doesn't let me quick save. Great. Legendary strike. Okay. Okay, he's just standing there. I hope to God I'm doing the right thing here, otherwise I am dead. I think I did it. Yay! I win! 
I win. There's no end to them. Just like my wife's cousin. Uh, oh god, I love them. I'm killing right here. You'll kill us if we don't get out of here soon. Look there. That's our only chance. Run, 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 boys, run. Mother's in the house of the rice and sun. Chicken to the bread, better pick it out, too. There's your dog, but no child's no. Ooh. Hey, we escaped. How the hell did you do that? I think we won. I think. Hey! Sexy lady. I must say, I do like your teats. I'll give my life to see that bloody abomination dead. <laughs> I'd have traded your life for the death of that thing as well. Thanks. It's a fair trade. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, big boy. Okay. <laughs> to drop a mountain on them. Well, yep, we humans are an intelligent lot. Could you at least tell... Uh, could you at least tell Lord Yan what I've done? So that means I can get out of here! Yes! Goodbye, freaky fox lady. Well, I suppose that's it. Damn right. I'm gonna miss those little bastards. <laughs> so hard, they just kept coming, one after another, practically throwing themselves on my axes. You have to respect that kind of mindless dedication. Ah, well, let's go find something else to cleave. Heh, <laughs> I do love cleaving. You should probably go down to his camp and check with Lord Young. He'll likely want to reward you. Ah, <laughs> even go. good use of a semicolon. I'm sure Hulk can make his way back to Jen's Landing. Even if there's more cannibals about, he's too skinny to eat. Oh, come on, I like Hempek too. The brilliant gem of... Oh, not this again. Well, let's save anyway. I don't fancy going through all of that again. Where did I get that on the way out, anyway? Do any of you have any idea what this is all about? Actually, I better level up. Actually, no, you know what? Oh, whoops, I cut the recording. <laughs> I forgot that cuts the recording. F10, no, it's screenshot, F11. Don't know what that does. Ah! Oh, I see, it hides the marker. Um, F6, F7, F8. F8, that's what it is. <laughs> I knew that. Oh god, I'm an idiot. There we go, I'm back. So, let's see. We will level up because I'm dying. We don't need to put much into focus because of that gem, so we're gonna put something into spirit and two into body. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know whether I'm ever gonna use these. I guess I'll put something into spirit thief. And then we'll put something into Legendary Strike. It can't. Chi damage, it's not much good to me. Can't put anything into that. Speed increase, that's always good. Done. I think. Right, yeah, we're done. Fuck yeah. Now I just need to work out where we're going, but first I save. Okay, ten minutes and I... And, for some reason it's closed down, but it's saved. Ha! Huh, it'll take more than a crashing game to stop me, by God. What? What do you want? Well, there's an arrow over your head, so we'll assume that you have something important to say. What did you do before you were with Lord Yan? Why does it matter? I was born by my mother and sucked at her teeth like every man. Well, like every man does with his mother. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I love this game. Anyway, by the time I was old enough to swing an axe, my father was dead and my mother disowned me. Of course, killing my <laughs> might have given her. Jesus Christ, man! I think she did it out of shame. My father Ooh. beat me and my brother senseless and made our lives miserable. Either way, 
That was the end of my job. I can't believe you killed your own father. I've done worse since then, believe me. Worse, Grace. I traveled a lot after that, begging for some things and taking the rest. Tough times, but not the worst. My axes and my wits kept me alive. Your wits, huh? Yeah, yeah. I had some wits before I got them all knocked out of me. Mostly, I just used my axes and my fists. You'd think a seven would be an easy target, but I soon learned just where to cut a man to make him squeal like a pig. Yeah. Ah, those were the days. Tell me something about your past. No, we got better things to do right now. Maybe I'll feel like talking after I've bloodied up my axes a few more times. Okay, he... Meh. He is an interesting character, I have to say. Very interesting character. <laughs> it's a one heck of a backstory. I mean, how many men do you know that killed their own father? Now, first, though, I need to find out where the hell I... Oh, right, we're here. Okay, so... Forgive me, I have no clue where I am. So this is probably just going to consist of me rambling around for a couple of for a while until I can find out where the hell I am. In an unrelated note, I'm extremely happy. I'm on my midterm. I am finished school for a week. Fuck yeah, for Halloween. You know what I'm going as? I'm going as myself this year. I'm so ugly I don't need to wear a costume. But, it's true. At least I'm, not, I'm ugly and I am proud. I'm so ugly that I make I make you jealous! Yes! The Black Whirlwind! I think this looks vaguely familiar. Oh, I've gone look. Ee aw, ee aw, ee See, this is always the way of things. It's like putting a USB key into your computer. There's a 50, 50 chance that it'll go in the right way. But almost 90% of the time, it won't go in the right way. If you know what I mean. 90% of the time, you'll always pick the 50% that means it doesn't go in. Because that is the way of life. When there's a 50-50 chance, unless you're extremely lucky, and you'll always end up doing things the wrong way when there's a 50-50 chance. Trust me, I know from long, hard experience. 17 years of cocking up. Ooh, tombstone. No, can do nothing with this. Is there anything down here that I should know about? Oh, a spirit font. But I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm in my peak physical condition, so that means nothing. I think Lord Yon's camp is down here. Duh, of course it is. Where else could it be? There we go. Lord Yon. I wondered how long it would be before you made your way down here. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but the air has changed considerably. I broke wind, that's why. The forest shadow herself appeared here in this camp while the earth shook. She explained what was happening on my lands. Ooh, she could have said so earlier. She explained what happened in the inn. Nasty business, that. Glad you had the skills to deal with that. Mother, was it? Mother. Mother. Those beasts had to be eliminated. I'm glad I could help. That they did. Imagine such horrors trapped under my own land. Hmm. Here is the wind map you wanted. The Invisible wind Perth, map. And I assure you that the assassins will never know you have it. Well, until I steal a ship and fly out of here. What will you do now? We will stay on here for a while. These trees will need tending. Aww. Besides, I think do I have some old family them? business to catch up on. Old alliances to reforge, as it were. Do you think the, um... Do you think this forest will be passable anytime soon? Allow me to answer that, Lord. While it seems that you've solved the problem with the forest, that doesn't mean the ghosts will simply up and leave. Well, we know, lass. If we're lucky, then you've stopped things from getting worse, and time will provide the cure. Alright, I think it's time I go. I Indeed, went. Indeed, it is. You have my deepest gratitude. I had virtually given up hope, and you appeared like a gift from the heavens. Ah, yes, I'm the deus ex machina. Farewell. That map will carry you safely if you can find a flyer with the range. I wish you all the best of luck. So do I. And another level up. Whoopee! 
Back to Tien's Landing we go. Okay, so let us go. Let us go to find these pirates and then we can get out of here. Frankly, although as beautiful as Tien's Landing might... I've already spoken to you. As beautiful as Tien's Landing might be, I have no desire to linger here for... You're crazy. Uh, get on with your day, youngster. We're just passing time. Shut up. My God. How rude people are, you little bastard. Right, I think I want to change my companion out. As much as I do like Black Whirlwind, I would like some time with Lone Star. I mean, Dawn Star. I don't want to go into the tea house. I want to get back to my to my camp. Ooh, I'm so ambiguously camp. Loading. Interesting. I do not know the lyrics of that song. I learned it years ago and I've forgotten. Oh, I've forgotten since then. Now oh, we're back. Are we certain there is no room for us to stay in Tian's Landing? Do we really need to camp outside? Oh, bug up. The ground is soft enough for a warrior. Walls just get in the way when a fighting starts. Besides, I've yet to find a bed that fits me. Hmm, true. Not everyone has a hide as thick as yours. Ooh, true. Ah, toughen up. No, no, I'm chivalrous. I'd be tempted to say that, but this... I'll be, um, I'll make sure you have extra blankets, John Star. You can have mine. Extra blankets? All you need is some strong wine to keep you warm at night. Hey, do you think you could find us some of that strong wine you're talking about? Hey, I never said anything about strong wine. Anyway, Dawn Star. The forest was a disturbing place. Such destruction. It was horrible. Even if it was mostly unseen. Even if you were never there. If you could spare some time, could we talk about what we have seen? Certainly. I'm interested in how you are, Dawnstar. I haven't seen you for a while. Our time in the forest was very troubling to me. You were never there! The distance between the concerns of men and spirits is something I am still getting used to. I have been sensitive to these things for as long as I can remember, but it was not always such a disturbing talent. There used to be harmony. When did you notice the bleh. When did you notice the change? It was very gradual. The world just seems to be filling up with spirits that have no place to go. That this affected even the forest shadow is very disturbing. It makes me wonder how deep the trouble goes, and what mortals like us are supposed to do about it. What do you think? Master Lee thought you were tied to this somehow. Can you comfort me? I can. If you You know you can ask me for anything, as long as I have your company. Your appreciation is just what I was looking for, and I'm yeah. grateful. I know we will do what we can, even if the world moves in ways we cannot fathom. I am getting late tonight! I am glad we can talk like this. It soothes my mind. I hope we can continue another time. Very good conversation. Be well, my friend. And we will have one conversation. I'm not really going to use her, frankly. I don't... I... To be honest, as it stands... My two favorite followers at the moment. In terms of personality, it's got to be Hempeck 2 and the Black World Whirlwind, Whirlwind, Whirlwind. But I do like Sagacious. There's something about him I just really like. Sorry, Donald. Donald, where is your true Zarus? Now, Hempeck 2, I know you had something to say. Thank you again for rescuing me from those things. I owe you my deepest gratitude. Is there some way I can be of assistance? Tell me about your life before you can, before you were captured. As I mentioned, I am but a simple bond master with a dear wife who has turned my life into a miserable cesspool devoid of humor and excitement. Bless her soul. <laughs> it's my just so Deadpool. I work very hard every day to become the best pan. bond master in the Imperial City, perhaps the best in all the Empire. Though I was one of the most respected fighters in the Empire before I met my precious bride, 
she made sure that I became something more, or less. Why doesn't she like you fighting? As I mentioned before, my style requires that I drink. She detests drinking, though there are things she detests even more, like talk of us separating. Ooh, tough break. My loving wife would knead me into several small dumplings and boil me in hot oil if she suspected I was even speaking to you about leaving her. Life is not all bad, though. I may have lost all my dignity and self-respect, along with my ability to fight or even make a tight fist. But I am a bun master of some renown. Interesting. I think it's time you told your wife what you think. I would sooner return to the cannibals and offer them what little flesh is left on my bones. But let's not discuss such things, if you don't mind. All right, all right, all right. Okay, fair enough. Tell me more about yourself, Ul. Perhaps in a little while. Memories of my wife are difficult to bear, especially when she is so very far away and I may never see her again. <laughs> oh, God, I like you. That's all for now. As you wish. I will be here waiting impatiently if you require anything. All right, all right. So I think we'll call it, we'll call that a session. No, we'll call it a recording. I still have pirates to kill. So this has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always, and I'm signing off.
Bastard. I am a deserter, and this I will say. Hello. Trip me, make me crawl like a dog. Yeah, this will teach them a lesson they won't forget. Come on, stupid rope, come on. Make them sorry they ever... Huh? You sound totally different. Wait, don't hurt me, I was just... Uh... Hey, you're no pirate. I remember the face of everyone I used to sail with, and I've never seen you before. Who are you? My name's Chung. Once I was a pirate on the river, but things were different then. We took pride in our work. We were professionals. Not like these lazy, drunken louts. <laughs> a professional pirate. The younger pirates used to look up to me. Now they treat me like dirt. They treat me worse than that slave cleaning the pier. But I'm gonna get even. I'll show them. I think I see where you're going with this. How do you plan on getting your... What were you doing with that rope? Those drunks on the pier were supposed to unload the ship, but they're too lazy to finish the job. They left a cannon suspended above the dock, supported by this single rope. One quick pull and that cannon comes crashing down, taking out the dock and anyone on it. But my old bones can't pull hard enough to loosen the knots in the rope. <laughs> well, fortunately I'm not old. Sounds like a fine idea to me. <laughs> That'll teach the lazy fools to leave equipment half unloaded. They don't deserve to be called pirates. Go on, give the rope a pull and give them what they got cut. Happily. Way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises early in the morning. Did you see the looks on their faces when that cannon hit them? Now they're feeding fish at the bottom of the river. Good for them. Too bad about the kid, though. You know, back in my day, we weren't stupid enough to fall for a trick like that. Gao ruined everything. Oh. I tried to tell them, but nobody listened. You'd think the Lotus Assassins would have been a warning. Even a pirate knows better than to get mixed up with them. Tell me about Gao. Gao the Greater, as he calls himself, is the leader of the guild. The a exchange, in other words. They never used to bother with us until Gao came to power. Gao himself came and took over our operations. He began building the flyers, and he made slaving our main activity. My own men turned on me. Now they treat me like a dog. Why not desert? A few months later, the Lotus Assassin showed up. Gao must have some kind of deal worked out with them, whatever they're up to. It must be something big. What do you know about these airships? Back in my day, a pirate ship stayed on the water where it belonged. Now they've got some kind of factory up on the top floor where they build those blasted airships. There's something suspicious about those airships. Sure, the pirates use them, but I think that's just a cover so the Lotus Assassins can come and go as they please. Interesting. All right. Goodbye. Watch yourself in this place. One minute you're on top, and the next you're on the bottom, bowing and scraping. Experience, my lad. Oh dear, I'm evil because I sounds like because I killed the boy. Well, you live and learn. Oh well, I didn't think. Hello, chaps. Legendary strike. <laughs> Sagacious? Hold him too. Dear. Jesus, I'm getting my ass kicked. Come back. Come on. You shall not pass. Tom, riddle me this, you bitch. How's your sword gonna stand up against my staff? Everybody was fighting. Oh, you're on fire. What a shame. Allow me to end your life. I hate to kill a woman. I go like that. is almost dead. This is your downfall. Sagacious! Hold on! Sagacious! 
Sagacious, you're almost dead. I find that most displeasing. Oh, a scroll stand. Let us read it. The history of flight. The first person to attempt flight was Kei, was Kao Shong, an early scholar who originally came from the prosperous east. Although his ideas were creative, they were hardly sound. Chao Song met an early end, and after he stopped several canisters of dragon powder, or strapped several canisters of dragon powder to a bamboo chair, and ignited it, it was first rumored that he had survived. Oh, after never mind, I read that totally wrong. It was first thought rumored that he had survived the ill-fated mission. But few truly believe that he, anybody could have survived such a disastrous explosion. His death, however, was not completely in vain. Several of his writings were studied by later scholars, and some of his ideas were adapted for the first successful human flights. Lovely! Well, I wonder what idiot would have contemplated doing something like that. Oh, a focus shrine, which is totally useless to me. Really, I need chi at the moment, but, you know, what can you do? Hmm... Oh, there's a chi shrine. How convenient. Spirit fox. Okay, now I'm on top of things again. Oh, hum. Okay, he said the, the factory was up... Ah, there we go. I missed it. Herp. Okay, so he said the factory was upstairs, which makes me think this is where I should go. Which saves the game and always makes me un unduly wor- oh dear. Abe Lincoln! Pay for that, maggot. <laughs> Will I? If you scum have any sense at all, you'll stand aside. Let me go drive a blade through your master's throat and I'll forget I saw you. Oh, certainly. We'll sit back and let you stroll upstairs to kill our leader. Would it help if we drew you a map to his room? Gao! Gao is upstairs. I wasn't serious, you idiot. We're going to kill this intruder and go back to our drinking. He's just one man. He can't beat all of us. Look around. The odds are not so much in your favor. There's still a chance for you to run. Uh, you tell him, Honest Abe. What are you talking about, fool? What you talking about, fool? You haven't noticed my partner over there watching us? He spent his entire lifetime learning how to kill dogs like you. Huh? This is your last chance. So, the thief brought a friend. That just means you won't die alone. Attack! All right, all right, Abe. I will help you. Oh god! Oh god! I'm totally. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Jesus! Confused. Oh! This is good. This is like a bloody brawl. I suppose it is pirates you're dealing with. Jesus, I didn't realize I love the volume. I'll just let whoever he is deal with this. And you're dead. Simple. How'd I know you'd be deadly in a fight? You'll have to accept my apologies for dragging you into that, but I can't afford to be stopped. Not now. Okay, what do you plan on doing? My name is Skye. It's good to see there's someone else in this place who can't stand these slaving dogs. We make quite the pair. Even though I did most of the work, but... You dragged me into your fight! It was obvious you weren't with the pirates. Why not deal with them quickly? There's bigger game above us. Speaking of which, there's a very secure and equally intimidating gate blocking the way. If we work together, though, it'll be simple to crack. Jesus, to think... Oh, I did... Oh, never mind. How do you know your way around here so well? It's funny what things you can learn if you just ask at the right time. Like when you have a knife to someone's throat. Great, another rogue. 
Things like how to reach the upper levels of this place despite that security door. Why are you here? I'm here on a personal matter. A man in this place took something very valuable from me, and I intend to repay him the favor. Is this man Gal the Greater by any chance? Yes, I hunt Gal the Greater, though I will not say why. It is a personal matter. Plot device. I won't be stopped now that I'm this close, and luckily you're here. That'll make it easier to reach the upper levels where he hides himself away. How do I know I can trust you? You're here for your reasons, and I'm here for mine. Somehow I doubt they conflict. Besides, we'll need each other's help to get through that door. All right, well, let's talk about this plan of yours. How do we get through that door? The door at the top of this stair is locked through a fairly ingenious mechanism. Gao's engineer, Kang the Mad, is for security. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of the uh, pirates as the ingenious type. Oh, I don't know. They're good with knots. But I'm... Kang the Mad is a crafty fellow. The door requires two to unlock it. Up high there is a platform with a release lever. The door must be operated while the lever is held forward. There used to be a sentry up there who handled that kind of thing, but uh, he had an accident. I can of climb course. up and pull the lever easily enough. You can open the door when it's unlocked. The assistant wasn't crunk, was it? Then what happens? Once the door is open, we can go our separate ways. I have my goals, and I'm sure you have yours. Since we both have much to do, why don't I go unlock the door now? Sounds good to me, laddie. Let's go. I should go now, but I have to ask in case we never meet again. Where did you study? Trend and the Master Lee of Two Rivers. He must have been a genius. You fight like no one I've seen before. Oh, thank you. Look, I've heard... Th now that you mention that... I've heard this kind of thing before. What's so strange about how I fight? No one I've ever met fights like you do. It's subtle, but your movements bait your foes into seeing an opening that isn't there. It's like a clever trap. I'm sorry, I'm wasting time neither of us can spare. And I've been told... I'll get ready and pull the lever when you're near the door. Good luck with whatever brought you to this place. And that's a subtle hint. Or not so subtle, but... Mm. Nara ear fo near wunu kanawa ofa ye kanawa wunu. Oh, you! I remember you. I'm guessing your plan didn't work out too well. Ukir neko si se saya wo saya wo saya ni fu ya. Saya yo wo ya ya ni tata tia ni sa sa pika. All right, I'll find her. Ok wak wak wo so soni a so no fo ni si saya na wuko. Oh God, a breaker. Alright, I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna cut the recording. I think, I think I've done enough for one day. So, this has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always. And I be a pirate! Arr!